I would say, you know, you, you've got to understand, you know, everyone's unique and everyone's circumstances are different. Just to, take, just to treat everyone with dignity and respect. It doesn't seem very fair who gets leave. Um, I think the people who smoke kick up the most fuss um, and therefore get their leave. I think if you're one of the quiet ones and you're just sat in the corner waiting, forget it, you won't get your leave. Which is unfortunate really, because I think everybody should be, should be fair, whoever gets their leave. Um. It's difficult to say a great deal other than the ob obvious, which is it, is it is therapeutic, but maybe explaining more to patients about how, it's, how it works. I think that it should be about risk and not about petty things like whether you get up or mm. whether you go to groups. I think it should be if you're risky or not, and then if it's a risk for you to go out, then you shouldn't go out. But if it's not a risk and you've just been a bit lazy, then you should still be able to go out. Section 17 leave is an important part of a detained patient's care and treatment. Decisions should be made in a multidisciplinary setting and be an integral part of the patient's care plan. Patients should be informed about the leave they are granted, how they can take that leave, and if leave is refused or withdrawn, they should have a full explanation of why this is and when it will next be reviewed. To be detained in hospital without being able to go out is difficult for patients who have little control or choice over their movements. Appreciating this may improve the situation for all involved.